Here we are given the value of investment, which is d of t is equal to 1000 times 2 to the t over 6 power, and t is the number of years after 2012. Here we have to find out the average rate of change from 2013 to 2015. Well, we are not going to say t is equal to 2013, because t is the number of years after 2012. So, in fact, here means t is equal to 1, because 2013 is one year after 2012. Likewise, 2015 is three years after 2012, so here t is equal to 3. Now, for the average rate of change, remember the ARC formula, well, what we do is we plug in the end time into the function first. So we have phi of 3 and then minus phi at the initial time. So you put down phi of 1, like so. And don't forget to divide it by 3 minus 1. And if you look at it, yes, this is just the slope. And for this one, I would recommend you guys to work out phi of 3 and phi of 1 on the side because the function and also the calculation part, it might be a little bit too, no, too heavy. So let me see, v of 3, let me put that down for you guys. This means we put 3 in here, so we are looking at 1000 times 2 raised to the 3 over 6 power. And now you just use the calculator for this. However, keep in mind, when you do this to the 3 over 6 power, be sure you put a parenthesis around the 3 over 6. Or better yet, just do this raised to the 0 0.5 power. So one way or the other. And you should be getting approximately 1414.21. Right? That should be phi of 3. Okay, for phi of 1, we do the same thing. Well, this is equal to you put a 1 in there. So we get 1000 times 2 raised to the 1 over 6 power. And again, just use your calculator and you will get approximately, this right here is 1122.46. Okay, good. Now, we can just enter this and that in here and here. So we are looking at this is being approximated as V of 2, which is that, 1414.21. And then we are going to minus... This right here is that, which is 1122.46 and divided by, well, 3 minus 1 is of course just 2. And now just work this out in your calculator and you will get approximately 145.88. However, don't forget about the unit. This right here is about dollar and then this is the average rate of change. So we are talking about this as the dollar amount. But it's the change per year, right? So 145.88 per year. That will be the answer.